Let's write the Lewis structure for CCl2. This is called dichlorocarbene, and it's never been isolated. This is what we call a reactive intermediate. It's something that takes place between reactions. So it's useful to understand the Lewis structure, though, to understand the reactivity sum. So the first thing we'll do is count the valence electrons. Carbon, group 14, sometimes called 4A, four valence electrons. Chlorine is in group 17, the halogen, sometimes called 7A. It has seven, and we have the two chlorine atoms. That gives us a total of 18 total valence electrons for the CCL2 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element in the center. That's the carbon and then a chlorine on either side. First, we'll put a pair of electrons between the atoms. That forms the chemical bond. Then we'll complete the octets around the chlorine atoms. At this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. We have a total of 18 for this Lewis structure, so we have two more. We'll put those on the carbon, but that's pretty much all we can do at this point. We've run out of valence electrons. If we're to calculate the formal charges for this structure, we'd find that the formal charges are all zero. So this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure for CCL2. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry briefly to understand what the shape of this molecule will be. So the purple, that'll be the carbon atom in the center. We'll add our two chlorines, one, two. You can see they spread out to be as far away as they can. And then we add that lone pair there. So that lone pair pushes everything down and it gives us this molecular geometry, which we call bent. The bond angles, the ideal bond angles would be 120. But because we have this lone pair up here, it's actually pushing down more. It's more repulsive than the chlorine atoms here. That's gonna push these closer together. The actual bond angle is about 109, 109 degrees. So the molecular geometry is bent. If we talked about the electron geometry, that would be trigonal planar because we've taken into account this lone pair of electrons to give us the shape here. Back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, this is the Lewis structure, the best Lewis structure for CCL2. It's never been isolated, but it does exist as an intermediate. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.